What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last episode, we made through the majority of Sahara Desert, and we're immediately getting to a boss fight, or a battle with an enemy we have already fought. Nice. There's two and more enemies we actually have not fought here, so we're gonna have to stick around a little bit longer once we do get to the end here. Uh, for some really special level there. Oh! Shiba is nowhere to be found. I wonder what happened. So we search the desert once more, or press on the Lalavero? We say, Isaac, should we keep going? Yes! I don't see her, I don't see her anymore. Ah, yes, I'd forgotten about your foes. Our guard gate lies ahead. We could leave Shiba to the soldiers at the gate. Really? You're just gonna do that? Well, perhaps we should head there first then. So, if we head through here. That's it! We're through the desert! So, we actually went through quite a ways. However, we are not quite done here. If we, uh. Yeah, this should be good here. Fuse reveal, somewhere around here. Uh, is it over here? No. I think it's actually over here. You might have actually noticed this ring of rocks earlier. By the way, doesn't this place look kind of much more cool when you're not, when there's not a bunch of sand flying across the screen? I mean, it might be just because I'm used to a uh, cyclone slash. Did we get something that's better for Isaac? Oh god, I might have sold it. We got a better item for. I think we did have a better weapon for Isaac, but I sold it by accident last episode. See the ring of rocks here. Take a look at the synergy stone, which is pretty nice. I'll happily take that. There we go. Good for Mia, especially. Oh, here, there is a little thing that you might not know what to, know to try here. There is actually more. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, that tornado actually has a specific spot. Ah, acid mega. Perfect. This is actually one of the last few enemies you haven't seen yet. Um, Acid Mega, it's level 22, they have 160 hit points, so not a whole lot. They have 102 gold, 86 experience points, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping a sleep bomb. Uh, they have Acid Bite, which uh, has a chance to lower your defense by 12.5%. They also have the ability to flee. So yeah, the tornado actually spawns right here. We're looking for something. I don't know. Aha! Aha! I found you, little bugger. And, uh, oh wow, here's the other enemy we haven't seen yet. Stone Soldiers! These guys are a pain in the butt. Uh, it's actually Synergy, I think. We can hopefully kill them all relatively quickly. Volcano, great. Tora, Storm Ray, and... Ice the Horn. Stone Soldiers! They're level 22! They have 179 hit points each. They drop 98 gold and 98 experience points. They have a 3.125% chance of having Elixir. They have the ability to use Headbutt, uh, Blast, Mad Blast, and Dynamite, which Dynamite sucks. It's a suicide move that does a lot of damage. Gear is now level 23, Warrior, maximum HP up by 8, PP up by 2, Attack by 4, Defense by 2, Agility by 4, and there we go. Um, interestingly enough about those guys, they have a very low amount of synergy points, so a lot of times they'll actually try to use a move on you, but they can't actually do it. Weird. Fuse reveal. There we go. So where do these footprints start? I'm really curious where they start. Just from here? Weird. Can you flee from me, please? Of course not. <laughs> the one time I tried to flee in this entire place. It's like, nope. How dare you? You can't get away from bird monster. I could barely get his feet off the ground. Interesting. So, the footprints start over here. I don't know what would entice you to restart that, but if you follow the footprints, you'll see there's a mystery stone log thing. And the footprints stop here as well, it's kind of weird. God damn man, no, no, listen here. Now we're seeing all these enemies, oh, my, oh here we go. Headbutt, I thought that had quite a bit of damage actually. Um, quickly please, god damn it, man. I even could very well die here. Uh, there we go, but doesn't have enough PP, so. Not the thing that could happen, apparently. Let's cure you, good. Much well, great. And, uh, I'm gonna quickly save again. The good thing, actually, since we walked out of the desert, we can now use Restart, and it'll bring us to that part of the world map. So, uh, let's see what this guy has for us, shall we? This guy is level 22, and I shouldn't have started saying anything yet, because I'd rather get all my attacks out first. Squall. Squall! He's level 22, he has 592 hit points, 445 gold, 468 experience points, he has ability to use Flare Storm, Fireball, he could flee, he could use Eruption, Fiery Blast, and Nova. And uh, I'll go over the rest of his stuff once he's dead. Because I failed him. 
She's dead. Oh, I didn't stun him or anything. That kind of sucks. Ground would actually probably be a good idea to use on him. That way you can't flee. Actually, that's a pretty good technique. Um, just to ensure your uh, Jin don't desp or don't run away. Oh, foul of Mario. Not a technique for this guy. He'd be easy because all you have to do is run through that little door right there. And he'd be fine. It's so noisy. <laughs> it's so noisy to get a Jin. Jinny. Mars uh, Jinny flash joint Garrett. Flash is fantastic. Block damage party with a fireball. Firewall, sorry. So flash and granite work much in the same way. Except flash is like an upgraded version of granite. Granite blocks, I believe, 50% of all damage from enemies. Flash blocks 90%. 90. It also has the ability to use first strike, so it'll always go first here, obviously. Do with it here. Another weird tornado. It also is not causing sandstorms for whatever reason. I'm gonna save here one more time. There we go. So this guy's pink. Let's use douse on it real quick, Wike. Um, Flash also has the ability he gives plus 14 hit points, plus 3 PP synergy points, plus 2 defense. And that's it. This guy sucks a lot. Uh, let's use ground. Oh, wait. Do I have any status boosting? Yeah, we'll drop his agility first. Uh, Flash is fantastic, by the way. If someone's really low on health and there's no way they'll survive the next turn. So we're going to leave that. Uh, resistance. Um, and miss. Maybe we'll be able to put him to sleep. So this guy, he's a Tempest Lizard. He has He's level 28. He has 3,000 hit points. So a a hundred more hit points in the Storm Wizard we just fought. He also dropped 6,400 gold, 1,368 experience points. So he drops 300 more gold and has 60 more experience points than the Storm Wizard did. This guy's just an upgraded version of the boss we just fought, which is really weird. Wow, he's actually kicking my butt already. His ability is Storm Ray, uh, Impact, Sonic Slash, Ward, Tempest, and Windstroke. He also has two turns. So uh, this guy kind of sucks to fight, not gonna lie. And this actually might be the first time I'll have to resort to... Uh, having Mia as a dedicated healer. I haven't had to do that this entire um, game so far, but I think it's getting around that time here, so let's use Wish well. Wish really kind of breaks <laughs> the game in a in sense, just because it's so easy to just keep spamming and get 160 hit points every turn. There we go. There, look at that, everyone's fully healed, perfect. And as you do that, you just continue, wow, you just normally attack, that's kind of annoying. Since that makes things a little too easy, you know? Uh, grounds? Yeah, it's these grounds. Oh, she used Forge probably a bit earlier here, that's okay. We'll use Kite just to get me to catch up a little bit here. We'll use Hail. Oh, it is a little bit dangerous for Mia to use, uh, to use all her Jin up, or Jin up, I should say. <laughs> so that's really easy to mix up. It's because you do lose the ability ha to lose, you do lose the ability to use Wish at a certain point after you have. Um, if you have four gen or more on standby, uh, okay, one more turn. Oh, actually, we we'll sap because we could actually heal a little bit, a little bit. Uh, squall, and you know what? We do have the ability to use spritz and fizz still. Spritz especially, so we we'll do that as well. Oh snap, though. You know what? I think we're just gonna settle with using. Um, Neptune. She will have the ability to use Neptune once she goes the first time there. I do not want to tempt this guy. Well, he hasn't hurt us a whole lot yet. Oh, he's paralyzed though. Uh, was he paralyzed last turn? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Both his turns are paralyzed there. Okay, now we can start summon rushing him, which might uh, end pretty well for us. And what I want you to do, Mia? Duh. We'll, wait. we'll use Ice Horn. I don't think there's a point for us healing yet. And I don't think there's a way for if he does, when he does, like, stop being paralyzed. I think the crazy colors they flash when you use, like, an electric attack or anything on them. <clears throat> and a beam. Wow. Almost 800 hit point damage there. Hit points damage. Should be going down soon here. This might be it, actually. Eh? There we go. He has an all 23 scribe. HP up by 7, PU up by 3, attack by 3, defense by 2, agility by 3, and a potion drop. Nice. And there we go. Um, what's even weirder about this guy? 
see if this works. Okay, or not. If you leave the desert and come back, this one will be back. So this is... Oh, please put me where I think you're gonna put me. Please. Thank God. Alright, we're now on the world map again. Um, I believe there's new enemies here, right? Yeah, there sure is. Uh, you can fight rat warriors here, warrior bees, brutal trolls, dirty apes, orc captains, all of which we've seen before. And there's also some new enemies. No, actually no, it's only old enemies. Interesting, they're just a different set of enemies compared to usual here. Let's heal with me there. There we go. cave over there in the very southern part this area of land reminds me of they look like fingers look at that just they're all I don't know <laughs> there's a cave over there as well there's there's something else interesting looking there we go so if we zoom out here see something to the right of the cave there hmm. Sahala Gate climb uh oh well, that doesn't look good What's the meaning of this? Uh, is, is that Yudum? What has happened to the gate? There was a strange group. No papers. They wanted to pass. Uh, Yudum. I think he's having a wet dream. We tried to hold them back, but they were too powerful. Reminder that these guys are all Colossal winners. So, or at least they did very well in Colossal. They had strange powers. We were no match for them. It must have been Felix. Yep. Yeah, no one else was capable of this. After we find Shiba, we must track down the monsters that did this. We must get to Bobby Lighthouse as soon as possible. Yes, but we cannot leave the soldiers like this. Or okay, don't worry about us. Get after them, please. That would be... We are blasted, bested in battle, but we will survive. Now go! If they've done anything at the lighthouse, it would be our... He's right. We've got to stop them. We're going after them, right, Isaac? Yeah. So, uh, seems that Satoris and Co. or Felix and Co. I don't know why they're specifically calling Felix and Co. at this point. Oh, it's no use. I don't think I can get up. Send help once you reach Babby Lighthouse. It's a pity Colossal, Vic uh, Colossal Victor should have like this. Next time I see them, I'll be sure to settle the score. That was dead. I'm lucky even to be alive right now. The strange ones with the wild hair, their power got were too much for us. Curses, it's a degrade to be seen with them like this. I'd rather crawl into a hole and hide. So, <laughs> stupidly enough, if you go in this here, there's actually a healer in here. Why? <laughs> Why could we not, like... There should be, like, a little cutscene where we, like, throw them in these beds or something. There's even two beds! Perfect! I've been traveling land spring goodwill. This is a typical... Cliffs, desert, Gondolin is a desolate wasteland. Wow, well, he doesn't like this place. So here, actually, even though we're kind of like in a sorry, this we can actually fight here. Uh, I don't know what's down here. Ooh, piece of candy. Is that meat? Great. Um, here we go. Yeah, earth. There's earth golems, and then one of these guys, mole mage. <laughs> you guys, ever seen a mole be a magician before? Sahala Gate! Oh, there's only new enemies here. There's a 3.125. Oops, what am I doing? Ha 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 ha. Let's flip up the page here. Uh, Mole Mage, level 24. They have, they have 199 hit points, 132 gold, um, and 191 experience points. They have a 3.125% chance of dropping an antidote. They have abilities Worms, which heals them. Mud Splatter, which I believe lowers defense. And Mad Growth, which is an attack. Uh, the Earth Golems on the Ozahan, they have the level 23. Uh, they have 298 hit points, they drop 183 gold and 218 uh, experience points. They have the ability to use uh, Tranchion Fist, I think is how you say that. It's an incredibly powerful move that also has a chance to lower your uh, add ups HP down to 1. So not only are, is that a powerful move, but yeah, it, it can almost can't kill you in one hit. And there's another Jin over there. Of course, we're seeing the same enemies. There's actually plenty of enemies we can fight here as well. This is a relatively small area, so... Hopefully we'll, uh... Not have to stick around here too long. I might have to cut and show you guys the new enemies, though. Also, Earth Golems have a 0.78125% chance of dropping an, uh, a giant axe. 
He's not a level 23 mage. Maximum HP up by 7, PP up by 3, attack by 3, defense by 1, agility by 4. So I'm actually going to have to stay around here and find that. Um, might do that. Oh, we are at 50 minutes here. Ooh, there's a cave over here. Ah, let's go up here first. So we'll be down there again anyways. Oh, crap. I already forget which currency. I think it's the... Oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Two new enemies. Great. Horn Ghost and a Gnome Mage, I believe? Gnome Wizard. Sorry. Jeez. He's blue. But if he's green, he would die. Gnome Wizards are level 24. Have 215 hit points. 176 gold. 219 experience points. They have a 3.125% chance of dropping crystal power. They can use Sleep, Impact, and Mother Gaia. Uh, who was the other guy? Was Horn Ghost? Horn Ghost. They have a th uh, level 23, 236. I'm like, so there we go. <laughs> They have uh, 236 hit points, 166 gold, 109 experience points, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping elixir, so probably go for him. They use haunting, which can cause the haunts. This one, I think. Shoot. It's. God dang it. It's a third thing. Dang, dang, dang. Dangers. They can also use ice horn and hail prism. So strong, pretty strong enemies. I believe there's a couple more enemies here for us to fight. Please don't. Dang it! Hey, goblins! <laughs> hey, goblins, what's going on? Uh, once we get through the uh, menus here, Kieran. Um, uh, Smog. No, you know, I'll just keep summoning. We'll summon rush him. Screw it. Goblins! Over the rainbow! They are level 24, 268 uh, hit points. 170 gold, 221 experience points, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping a vial, they have the ability to use a vial, and an elixir, and that's it! Wow, and I guess besides just normally attacking. So, they can either heal themselves 500 experience points, or 500 hit points, or pure delusion and stuff. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he heal oh, he healed the earth golem. Oh, here we go. Alright. Came out 118 damage, and uh... That's still, that, it was ineffective against Isaac, so that's a pretty strong move. Also, the columns look really weird. They kind of look like Donkey Kong with that, like, weird, pointy head. He has a Donkey Kong head, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm speaking to you. Look at his giant fist. He kinda, he's also kind of like Popeye. Really weird monsters, and also pretty scary with their truncheon fists. If I'm I feel like I'm pronouncing that very wrong, but, you know. Ooh, not that one. Wait, is it this one? God dang it! It's the third one! Holy crap. Hey, another new enemy. There's a lot of stuff in here, man. Wow. I guess we are... I would be lying if I said we weren't getting to the very end of the game. Like that, we're getting to the close to the end of the game is what I'm saying here. And I guess maybe they just had a lot more enemies than they expected. I'm like, oh no, we're gonna start throwing them all in. Nightmares, level 24, 258 uh, hit points. They drop 198 gold and 241 experience points. They have a 1.5625% drop, so they're dropping a healing ring. If you remember that, we actually just sold one two episodes ago. Uh, we got it in the the, the deck you tree, I was gonna say. <laughs> um, yeah, we got it in the uh, tret tree. So it's weird that that he's dropping that. It'd be cool if they dropped like a more interesting thing. God, it's the third one, right? Third one. Oh my god! All right, there's still one random we haven't seen here. Nightmares also have the ability to shine plasma, bind, fireball, and heart render, which lowers attack, I believe. I did not write that down. There we go. Uh, I think we fight this guy, so let's save real quick here. Alright. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, this this little pupper hopefully won't run away. That would be very nice if he did not. Um, he's level 24. 654 hit points, 484 gold, 606 experience points. He has abilities use Frost Spear, Ice Horn, Hail Prism, Glacier. There's an upgraded version of Tundra that Mia has, uh, Deluge, and they have the ability to flee. Hopefully he doesn't do that last one. I would really not like it. You know what, let's use Ground. As I was saying earlier, Ground is a very uh, useful way to uh, at least take away a turn so they have less of a chance to run away. Sleep uh, uh, sleep and Paralysis is also a very good way to do that as well. So you get a second turn? I don't think he gets a second turn, but it's possible. There we go. Good, good. Right. Um, with this gin, you get a plus 13 hit points bonus, plus 4 synergy points, and plus 4 agility. What did the gin do, join to? And. Revive it down to Alley. 
this is actually the last Mercury Gen in the game we can get. So we get seven of each. I'm specifically saying that because there's nothing in the game that really tells you that. So yep, we have collected all the Mercury Gen, which is freaking amazing. Uh, Dew has an 80% chance to revive and he also heals 80% of your health. That may sound familiar. We also, uh, what is it? What is that one called? Quartz, right? With Quartz, you have a 50% chance of being healed, and, or sorry, 50% 50 chance of being revived and you, you gain 50% of your health back. So do once again, is an upgraded version of Quartz. It's really kind of a shame that it's almost like they ran out of ideas or they need to upgrade some certain gin that weren't as useful anymore, I suppose. All right, we're gonna quickly go through this cave here because there's actually some cool new things this way. And I don't think we've seen all the enemies here yet, right? Let's see. Gnome Wizard, Nightmare, Mole Mage, Goblin, Earth Golem, Dew. What else? Oh my god, oh that was Shine Plasma. I was looking down. Oh no, there is one random we haven't seen here yet, so we're gonna keep fighting until we see them. Although we are very close to the end here. And we're at 20 minutes, so. I think between episodes, I'm gonna look up and see if there's a method to uh, get the uh, to, uh, do it with the one of the, the axe. I don't remember what it was called at this point. Oh, I was really hoping to be the last enemy we haven't fought yet. Hey! There we go. Heat Mirish. Isaac's not level 24. Uh, Master of the Gallons, Mother Gaia. HP up by 7, PV up by 2, attack by 4, defense by 1, jelly by 4. Awesome. So we got a new move. Let's show that off next episode. A random synergy stone. Seen a lot of those. This is a pretty long stretch between Sahala, which is a very minor village, and um, the next town we'll be into eventually. Look at this! What happened? Bobby ship! Hmm, perhaps it is time. Isaac, take this, try to use it. That looks like the cloak ball. Black orb? Let's give the black orb to Garrett's. Now use it on the ship. Back to the ships, stranded off course. Hold on a minute. Use it on the ship. What happens if we mind? I don't actually really remember this very well. This is a very optional cutscene. Oh, okay, fine then. Fine then! Okay, use the black orb. But for some reason, Isaac still used it. What's the matter? Strange, nothing happened, wasn't me. Weird because the ship kind of looks sunk, doesn't it? Could Bobby have been wrong? No, not Bobby. I was wrong. It is not yet time. We must press on to Bobby Lighthouse. I'll take that black. I'll take that back for now. I'll take that black for now. <laughs> you turn the black orb. We'll turn to the ship later. So. There's nothing else on this beach. Maybe wondering what the heck that was all about. Look at the ships. Yeah. Wait, what? The wreckage of the ship? What? Scut off the clothes. Maybe wondering what the heck that was about, and maybe extremely confused. That's okay. All will be explained in due time. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you're already. Next episode, I might try some RNG manipulation, show you guys how that works to uh, get that axe. I'm hoping there's a method of that online because that would be very helpful. I'll see you guys next time.